Hi. Uh, tonight you emphasized energy independence. Yeah. You also talked about your business experience and focus on a strong economy. You said something really interesting, which was Americans rise to the occasion. I like that quote. In helping Americans rise to the occasion, what will you do to specifically support people who want renewable energy and who want to support the green jobs initiative and the green shift to the green economy? Great, thank you. Uh, I, I think actually that one of the great opportunities we have as a nation uh, economically is to develop technologies that allow us to become energy independent and, and, and have a clean energy source and everything from, there are two sides of the equation, the energy equation. I want to get us energy independent and energy secure. Um, you can't do that, by the way, in two or three or even five or ten years. It's going to take longer than that. Sixty percent of our energy we buy offshore today, so we've got, we got some work to do. But, but that being said, we're going to develop sources of energy from nuclear to the renewable, agriculturally based uh, resources, to solar, to wind, um, to uh, more drilling of our own oil, of course, clean burning coal, hopefully sequestering uh, the CO2 from our liquefied coal. we got a whole series of energy sources we can develop, and we can be far more effective in how we use those, those resources. We could reprocess nuclear fuel. Technology is going to help us do that, I hope. And then on the other side, we can be more efficient in our use of energy. Frankly, our homes, our lights, our appliances, our cars are nowhere near as efficient as they could be. And so I look at those two areas and say that there's a very legitimate role for our government to be involved in technology, basic science, and helping create breakthroughs. We do that in the space program. We invest billions in the space program because we know that from that program comes spun off technology that helps build other industries. And so we want to, I want to see us investing in basic science associated with energy and energy efficiency. And I believe that you're going to see this nation finally take serious steps to get that done, to become energy secure and become energy independent. I will fight to do that. And uh, the incentives, of course, for people to move towards those sources of energy may also be provided by government. I, uh, when I was governor, I proposed, for instance, that if you bought a car that got 35 miles per gallon or better, you shouldn't have to pay the state sales tax or excise tax. Now, you don't have to worry about those things in New Hampshire, but down where I came from, that was worth a couple of thousand bucks. And, uh, and encouraging people to, to buy cars that were fuel efficient was a great way to, to, if you will, reduce our use of energy in this country. We, we use four times as much energy per person as does, does a European, as Americans. Twice as much as does a, did I say European? I meant Japanese. The Japanese uses one quarter as much energy as we, and, and the Europeans use twice use half as much energy as we do, and, uh, and so we can be far more energy efficient. And I'll work very hard to get America energy independent, and if we do that, we're going to have a lot less greenhouse gas emissions, because the only way to get energy independent, energy independent is with these non-CO2 emitting technologies. And if we do that, we'll improve our economy, we'll help our foreign policy, and we'll help our environment all, all at the same time. Thank you.